Like this really is the twos meta. This this really is it. Um, Just axe. In, an, in an absolute nutshell, an axe, some spear, Two, dash in a little lance. Um, and you just got a, you got a good recipe for some with, two with a hint of gauntlets in there. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, no, these are definitely tried and true selections in 2v2 right now. And we're gonna see how this breaks down in center stage. Blue team, though, set it up for a quick little team combo. Work in there and get a little bit, pass it back and forth and before um, the other person came over and broke it up. Already Woo! very, very quick place. Good knockout there by Soul. They're on to Berserker. Recover is gonna send Sadly up in and knock down Soul. Ooh, Soul's gonna get knocked down there already. It is so fast paced. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a little bit slower, but no, no, not, that does not look like it at all. No, two very, very aggressive teams are going straight at it, and we're seeing that because the stocks are already starting to fall off. We're seeing, sadly, take them up with some quick nares that are going to get reversed back up. Oh, recovery from off the stage. Oh, send him back on knockout. Oh, he caught the delay on the platform, too. He could have gone for more as well, maybe even like a gravity cancel end sync. Beautiful use of that ledge cancel there. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, Assassino coming in there. Trying to break, mix something up a little bit with this axe, but blue team just there to shut it down. Quick little side air off the gauntlets from Sadly, but now he's gonna get in this axe sandwich. But now they're gonna uh, block the edge, but now they're gonna come back over to Berserker. Missing with the Nair. Berserker now has the axe in the hand, looking for a good dare. Rack up some more damage. This is just back and forth, back and forth. Really hard as a college, just so much aggressive aggression on this relatively pretty small map. I mean, like the double lance takes up a lot of airspace, yeah. and plus the axe there from Assassino definitely has a lot to do. They have to work around a lot of hitboxes if they want to get in there. And right now, not looking too great. Berserker already being put into orange. A nice knockout there by Sadly to get rid of Soul's second stock. Assassino last person on in the second stock here. A little bit of damage there. They're built onto Sadly. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, coming down with it. Nice side sig over. He is just absolutely working here in center stage off of that lance. Ooh, a lot of pressure coming up. As the CNO gets set up to the ceiling again. Ooh. A nice, nice air off that spear to keep the play alive here. Going to rack up some more damage. We're getting caught in at those gauntlets and sadly not slowing down. Coming over the dare. Going to send a Berserker up and put him out of this game. Now is a 2v1 situation and sadly is out of here with wow. that. That neutral sig is going to be enough to get it done. Red Look team. Taking a game of number one, and they are going right back here to strike these maps. Did you see that angle for the end stick, though? That was, like, perfectly placed there by Soul. Completely sent him off the side of stage. I mean, that's what you get when you just play one character. And when you know a character, that's that legend mastery that's coming out from Absolutely. pretty much every single one of these players. Absolutely. You can definitely tell they are all very, very comfortable in their legend selections. Come back in the same map, the same uh, legend selections, same all across the board. Is it going to have a different? Um, a, 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 sorry, words are hard. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> is it? Is it going to be okay. a different outcome for Berserker and Sadly, or are they going to go down a 2 0? Well, it looks quite even right now, but I think it could be definitely a change. You know, game one is game one is frankly just game one. And that's kind of where you're like, okay, well, now I know what to do. Now I know how to play against this team. Now I know how to like, fight in a specific uh, place. And obviously, that's looking a lot better here, sadly. And Berserker definitely have some kind of stage. Ooh, they do not have any stage control. I lied. Assassino. <laughs> oh, good down sig. Not going to knock out sadly, but it's going to take out Berserker. Uh, White. Quickly. Oh, if you would have got the double KO in the opposite quarters <laughs> at the same time, I would have been sick. I would have literally fell out on my floor right here on camera. <laughs> I swear to God. Oh, Ooh. that would have been absolutely nasty. But we're just seeing look at that 2v1. They're so good at capitalizing on those opportunities, continuing to just juggle Essacino up in the air. Okay, going to settle down with that spear. They only just one a little quick neutral light to poke away at a little bit of damage. And they are coming out. Essacino looks like he's moving around, trying to get something going here, but is unable to really get any significant damage Ooh. on the blue team. Very long string there by Berserker. They're on to so put a ton of damage there onto him. Berserker in a bad position here. They're gonna use that weapon throw to try and stop the edge guard. Assassino with a double oh, D light oh, end oh, stick oh, there oh, for Soul, and that's gonna be another knockout for the red team. 
the the absolute awareness and that synergy to know, okay, pull the trigger right now and finish up with that neutral sig and go ahead and finish out the stock. That was absolutely textbook. Weapon throw coming off, but sadly, it's not looking too good again for blue team. They need to rally back with an absolute hurry here. Berserker left without a weapon coming back on stage. Oh, okay. Nice little team combo from blue team. Doing the best they, best they had with what they had. But now that 2v1 situation, sadly, and being back on the board, but at least it's a slightly better situation than he was last time, but I don't know if it's going to be enough oh, for him. Because wow. he almost beat it out right then. But now we have this Axe-Spear matchup. Oh, no. They're just just—they're literally toying with him. Putting on so much damage. Another down sig is going to finish it up. And blue, uh, red team going up 2-1. Whew. I don't even say 2-0 there. Oh, 2-0, sorry. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> hey, it's been a long um, time. Don't worry. No, no, no. It's uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm building the stuff back here. I, I think it's the fumes, bro. Like, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying All the silicone? <laughs> yeah, all the silicone I've been uh, spraying yeah, all afternoon. Right. I, think, I, think been, I think it's the like fumes in here I a mean, little bit. Three, if your two, last casting block was BCX, it's been about two full months. Yeah, exactly it's, since BCX. It's been a while. And, you know, hey, you know what? It's good. It's good to have you back here. I, I know a lot of people missed you on the mic, so good times. Wrong, good times. Uh, I'm glad no, to have I've you been, back. I've been absolutely ready to be over. The oh top my god! Oh, 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 it was almost, that could have been nasty. Got it. But the reversal going to come off of that lance. The Berserker trying to find his way down here. Now it has the ang. Went, went ahead and switched the drip a little bit. Oh, that Sayer not actually. Berserker swapped the... legends. Actually, oh, both, yeah. both blue team members swapped legends. Well, just... I saw sadly, dude. Yeah, but Berserker was on Olgrim. Oh, he was, he was. Sadly was on Mashong. Nice side stick there by Sadly. He's gonna knock out the Cicino, but a beautiful knockout there by Soul. A nice snare there by Berserker trying to get that knockout, and they do find it. The way he is able to thread those down signs in and just get them the most efficiency out of them. Very, very impressive. Uh, oh, oh, I, th there's so much going on in the center of the stage right now. <laughs> Okay, all right, Berserker coming back up. Sweat Beast coming out, but he's gonna go ahead and rock that Sair, a double Sair. So, you know, looking for a place to bring that dare down. Okay. What I noticed kind of slow and Asasino is really, really good with those axe aerials. I mean, they'll find down air after down air, and then some random nair is gonna come out. It's like, yeah, yeah, that'll work, and then they'll just do it. <laughs> and then double side air there for the red team is gonna knock it down, sadly, down to the last stock here in game number three. Cider once again. It looks like another repeat of what happened in game two. Yeah. Unfortunately so. Blue team just having a really hard time at dealing with this Bryn Olgrim matchup. Nice unarm recovery coming out of Berserker and nice follow up on the team combo from Sadly. Not enough to get that stock off of Essesino, but pretty close. Putting them back in a situation here. Okay, we got a game. We got a game flaming blue team that might be able to rally here and bring them at least get something on the board here. Make my 2v1 mistake true, you know? Like, <laughs> hey, you know what? They're playing for it. I mean, I the gauntlets into Battle News Comp is very, very solid. And right now, sadly, and Berserker are using it quite well. They're getting around all these Axe side airs. However, not that one. Sadly, getting this arm set into the red. Assassino with a beautiful end say and a falling side air. Assassino and Stoll are going to move on for Grand Finals. That was actually kind of wild. They completely dominated that set as far as I'm concerned. I mean, we saw Berserk.